One of the greatest inventions of all time is the wheel, largely responsible for the rise of modern civilization. Today, wheels of commerce carry vital traffic over the streets and highways of the nation, delivering passengers and freight to every part of the country. This giant industry, which provides transportation and employment for millions, centers in the final analysis on the men who operate the streetcars and trolley coaches, the L trains and subways, the trailer trucks and local delivery units, the cross-country streamliners, local taxi cabs, buses in cities and in the suburbs. Throughout the country, thousands of employees are needed to transport businessmen into town, workers to their jobs, housewives to shopping centers, and children to schools and playgrounds. And daily, the operators for America's transit lines make their run safely and on schedule. Typical of the job opportunities available in the local transit field is that of the bus driver. To qualify for bus driving jobs, all applicants must pass a strict physical examination. Good health, keen vision, and muscular coordination are essential. Good appearance and a friendly disposition, as well as a satisfactory past record, are important and rate highly with a prospective employer. Having passed these requirements, which are generally the same in all transportation fields, new drivers are assigned to experienced men who explain driving procedure and technique. Thorough training is given by an expert who stays with the new man until he has mastered actual operation of the vehicle. Each new man is cautioned constantly to observe all traffic rules and regulations. Safety is more than a byword. It is a continuous, never-ending necessity. For upon the driver rests the responsibility of preventing accidents. This need for eternal vigilance is stressed during the training period of all operators in the field. During this period, practice in dealing with passengers is also given under the guidance of an experienced driver. The new man learns that driving is just one of many responsibilities. He has fares to collect, transfers to give out, a schedule to maintain, and countless questions to answer as passengers stream through his bus. He must account for all fares collected, make out various routine reports, and turn them in at the end of each day's work. And above all, he must handle passengers with tact and courtesy, and must always look after their comfort and safety. To help the bus operator do his job well, all companies have a supervisory staff. These men always are available in case of breakdowns, traffic tie-ups, accidents, or other interferences to service. Streetcar and trolley coach operators, motormen and conductors in rapid transit all have similar responsibilities for providing safe, reliable and friendly service to the public. A quarter of a million people are employed by local transit systems. And while operating employees comprise the greater part of this total, thousands of skilled craftsmen are required to keep equipment in operating condition. Welders, blacksmiths and metal workers mechanics, machinists, and repairmen, painters, upholsterers, and carpenters, electricians, trackmen, and linemen. Men skilled in many trades are needed the year around. As in all industry, men with initiative, experience, and ability work up to higher paying jobs such as inspectors, instructors, dispatchers, superintendents, and executives. Because local transportation is an industry fulfilling an important need in public service, it is a field where employment is staple and not subject to unusual economic fluctuations. This stability accounts for the low rate of turnover in personnel. In addition to local transportation, many job opportunities exist in long distance bus and truck operation. A bus driver for one of the major cross country lines is very much on his own and is entirely responsible for the safety of passengers and equipment. He must be a man of good judgment, ready for quick thinking in any situation. With both city and country traffic problems to face, he must be familiar with the traffic laws in every locality through which his route runs. 
And he has many other jobs besides just driving. He must know how to make simple repairs in case of motor failure. He must check all baggage and stow it carefully in its compartment, collect tickets, make out reports, and above all, be able to get along with people. Bus driving is a job for those who like to work with the public. But even more job opportunities exist in trucking, a growing business that fills a need for speedy, flexible, and personalized service. There are almost five million trucks in operation, and most of them in private business. Special products are hauled in special trucks. Dairy products must be transported swiftly. Raw materials to manufacturers. Livestock delivered to stockyards. Fresh vegetables hauled from farms to markets. Each year, more than four million cases of eggs are shipped by refrigerated trucks to metropolitan areas. These and countless other items daily pour into the city terminals. Here their cargoes are unloaded and new loads prepared for the next scheduled runs. But before a run can begin, the drivers have many duties to perform. Tires must be checked, as well as flares, fuses, lanterns, fire extinguishers, and emergency equipment. The speed and route are determined by the company. The rest is up to the individual driver. It is no soft job. The average run is from 150 to 250 miles. A driver must be constantly on the alert. The truck is heavy and loaded with valuable freight. Top performances are expected of drivers. Day and night, through all kinds of weather, the loads must go through and on schedule. Reliable, capable men are necessary to do the job right. Behind the scenes at the terminals are the dispatchers who set up the runs and control the flow of traffic. Jobs as dispatchers are open to men willing to work to get the necessary experience and training. Positions as superintendents await men with executive ability and initiative. There are many jobs for unskilled labor. Most of these are in the warehouses, receiving and sorting freight and loading the trucks. Trucking is not limited to large companies. Independent operators, often starting with one or two trucks, do considerable business in local hauling. Sometimes they hire their trucks and their own services to large transport companies. In any event, the independent trucker faces the same problems of every small businessman. Efficient management, sales ability, and a practical understanding of public relations. This feeling of independence and individual responsibility is also shared by the local taxicab operator. He sets his own working hours and conditions. In smaller towns, he carries fares from depots to hotels. In big cities, large companies maintain thousands of cabs. Such competition makes it difficult for the independent operator to get started. But whether a driver works for a large company or for himself, he must have complete knowledge of his city. In normal times, the taxicab business employs nearly 100,000 drivers. It is a highly competitive business and the prospective operator should study the field carefully before making an investment. Although the average taxi driver works about 10 hours a day, only half of that time is actually spent driving. The rest of the time he is waiting for calls. Fares are usually set by local ordinance and are based on distance traveled and other factors. Common to all fields of motor transportation are the problems of maintenance. Repair shops are staffed with skilled mechanics to check all operating equipment and keep it in good condition. Motors must be overhauled periodically. Continual use wears out parts quickly. Maintenance is necessary to keep our transportation system functioning properly. For modern civilization depends on wheels, depends on a constant stream of traffic delivering freight, passengers and raw materials over the broad highways and the streets of cities and villages throughout the land. There are many opportunities for a career in this vital industry. Opportunities in local transit systems as well as in cross-country bus and truck operation. Transportation is an interesting and active field. It may appeal to you as a possibility for your life work. Mm -hmm.